So scientists have frozen light. That video got 7 million views, so you probably saw it. Alternatively, maybe you saw one of the dozens of headlines talking about frozen light. So, if you're the least bit skeptical, you've come to the right place. Let me explain what really happened. First, they didn't just take regular old light, cool it down somehow, and then it suddenly became solid, like in Halo. Instead, they took a highly controlled pulsed laser system and used it to give energy to so-called quantum wells, embedded within a specially shaped semiconductor called a waveguide. When that happened, the photons of the laser coupled with quasiparticles found in the semiconductor called excitons, forming a new type of quasiparticle called a polariton. It was these polaritons that formed the supersolid, each one lasting less than a billionth of a second. But I clearly still have lots of explaining to do, so let's get into it. First, a supersolid is essentially a superfluid that has an orderly spatial configuration. Rather than being the same regardless of where you look in the superfluid, a supersolid will have a patterned region of high density and low density. This is how it gets its name. Regular solid crystals have the same feature, as the places where there are atoms in the crystal have high density, and the places where there are atomic bonds have low density. So, in their experiment, because the system is so cold and the polaritons are a type of particle called a boson, they were able to prepare the system so that it became a Bose-Einstein condensate, a state of matter where many particles clump up and behave like a single macroscopic particle. The details of how they forced that to happen is complicated, so you'll just have to take my word on this one. Furthermore, they made sure their system was actually a superfluid by observing a linear Bogolubov excitation spectrum. I know, complicated stuff, but bear with me. Then, because of the way they engineered their waveguide, it happens to be that in addition to the low-energy stationary Bose-Einstein condensate state, called the zero mode, there are two additional possible moving states moving with a fixed momentum in either direction relative to the Bose-Einstein condensate state, called the plus and minus modes. Because they're moving, they would typically take more energy, so all of the polaritons would prefer to live in the zero mode. But when the density of the zero mode gets high enough, it essentially starts leaking density into the plus and minus states. In other words, individual polaritons start to organize themselves into two additional distinct states. And because those states have fixed momentum, they resonate with each other, spontaneously forming a lattice, or a grid, of polaritons with a lattice spacing of a few microns, a supersolid. Now, as mentioned earlier, the supersolid lasted less than a billionth of a second, but it was consistent enough that they could make and measure it over and over again. Furthermore, it extended over a region of about 100 microns, so in some sense, it was macroscopic, about the width of a human hair. So did they freeze light? Sort of, but not in the way pop science reporters are saying. That said, maybe there will be some applications of this in the future, but this is not a let the tech mature for five years and we'll have holograms situation. Really, this is basic foundational research. Technological implications are a long way off.